All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be something that I never thought I'd make on my channel, but I saw this on Tier Maker and I was like, you know what? Let's do it. So, this is going to be a tier list of the Def Destiny waifus um, in terms of all the female characters in Destiny. Um, this is not going to be a list about which characters I'd like to have sex with the most, which is probably what you first thought clicking on this video. That is not what this list is about, I promise. I plan on doing one for the Destiny guys uh, tomorrow. I saw that tier list on here, but I saw this one first, so I'm making this one first. And it's going to be purely character based about where I think these characters rank in terms of, you know, great characters. Like, I'll go over the tiers real quick that I have. I have S tier as queen, absolute queen of a character. I have great character, which, you know, good character, you know, great character, but not, you know, queen level. I have all right character, kind of meh, you know, just the meh tier. I have annoying or bad, which they're either a really annoying character or just bad character. And then I have not a real character. And I'm going to move uh, the ones I think into there real quick or i think go in there real quick which is just going to be riven and i believe this is navoda they don't have any voice lines you know i love uh riven as a boss but you know and i get it, she's a female but i don't she's not really a character so i can't really rank her on this list you know what i mean so that's the only two that are going in there the rest are going to go through here and we're just going to go through it and at least know where you guys uh think in the comments about uh you know, where you'd put these characters in the list, which ones you like, which ones you don't. I know my opinions tend to be kind of controversial when it comes to this stuff, but, you know, we're just going to jump right into it. So first off, we're just going to go with Ada 1. Ada 1. I'm kind of feeling a great character on Ada 1. I don't think she's a queen, mainly because she's never had that, like, really solid character arc that I've always wanted her to have. You know, I love Ada 1. I love Black Armory and her involvement in it. And she's had some really strong voice lines and she's had like some okay character development, but she's never been like a queen. You know what I mean? Amanda Holiday. I'm going to put queen. That might be divisive for some people. Although I really just, I, I like Amanda Holiday. I was sad that she died. I honestly, if I'm, or if I'm being real, I don't really think that she's going to stay dead. I believe a ghost is going to revive her. And that's not like a leak I saw or anything. I just personally believe that's what's going to happen. I don't think they're actually going to keep Amanda dead, but I could be wrong on that. But I think Amanda deserves the queen tier. She's been with us since Destiny 1 great character i like that she got more story this season even if her death was a little you know kind of underwhelming and not really deserved i feel like um i feel like she will come back and i feel like she is a true queen uh anna bray i also believe true queen especially with the character development from last season and just overall like her involvement within the story of the, over the past year and even in warmind you know she was the main character of the warmind dlc and i loved her in that i've loved her ever since so i believe she gets a queen tier lady Ephrodite, also queen tier absolutely such a destiny queen if you remember lady to from destiny one i know she hasn't really been around um recently or at all really in destiny two but uh you know i really liked her in destiny one i liked you know her sniper rifle the effort spear if you remember that that's a throwback uh i just you know i loved her as a vendor i loved her in the rise of iron story she is a absolute queen for me eris morn all right this is where things are going to start to get interesting i think eris is annoying i've always thought eris is annoying i always think she's like She's like biblical text to speech when she talks. Like she only talks in like these super dark like types of things, and like she, you can't really have a real conversation. I get that's her character, but personally, I just find it annoying, and I've always found it annoying. So that's you know, I'm putting her annoying in or in the annoying tier. All right, Eva Levante. Hmm. I'll put Eva Levante in. All right, she doesn't have enough character development for me to put her in great character or queen. Uh, but you know, she's not bad. She's just all right. You know, she's she's a sweet old lady. I love sweet old lady. She gave us the dawning event, which is my personal favorite event of the entire year when it comes to those like seasonal events, stuff like that. And I think she does Guardian games, too, now. And no, I think she does. Actually, now that I think about it, doesn't she do? She does a couple of them now, but I love uh, the dawning event where all her voice lines are super sweet. So she, she's all right. Um, the Exo Stranger. Ooh, I'm going to put the Exo Stranger also in all right. That might piss some people off. I don't personally love the exo stranger i feel like she also kind of has that era eris mourn kind of thing to her where she talks in like these super like uh what am i trying to say she like has like a speech every time she talks it's kind of like um she's giving us a speech or she's giving us like i don't want to even call it like a motivational speech but she's just kind of like an annoying character to me uh but she's like all right because she has enough character development to where i like kind of like her but i still find her annoying at, at sometimes you know what i mean all right i'll move on fail safe fail safe is not a real it's not technically should be and not a real character, but I will put her in annoying and bad, um, annoying or bad because she's super annoying. If you guys remember Phil safe from the OG destiny Two story, super fucking annoying. Um, I never liked Phil safe. I don't like her. Any of her voice lines and strikes. Uh, just, yeah. yeah. Hawthorne. I will also put in all right. 
I hate Hawthorne's speech that she gives you. Um, I didn't like her that much in, you know, the original Destiny 2 campaign. Um, you know, I, I just think she's all right. But, like, she's had enough character development where I can't really put her in annoying or bad. Because, you know, something, you know, something's about her arc has been good, if you can even really call it an arc. We've kind of just gotten, like, little story bits of her. And she's been there to help us through, like, you know, the Red War. Or even, I think, uh, even this DLC, kind of, I think. I, I don't remember. But, like, I feel like she has enough character development where I can put her in all right character instead of, like, bad. Um, but, yeah. Ikora Ray, queen. Absolutely. I don't think there's a question about it. Ikora Ray, absolute queen. Deserves it. She's honestly my... <sighs> She she she's one of my favorite characters in Destiny as a whole, personally, and I I just think she deserves Queen tier absolutely. I will move over to Lakshmi too. Lakshmi gets annoying or bad. She's both annoying and bad. I don't know if you guys remember, she was a complete asshole in season of the Splicer, and I think she she died in that season if I remember. Um, but we didn't actually see her die. Uh, but I'm I hope she stays dead. I hated Lakshmi too. Such an annoying character. She gave uh Mithrax a whole bunch of shit. And, you know, she's, yeah, she was just annoying and bad in that season. So, you know, she gets annoying and bad. Uh, Mara Sav, absolute queen. She is the queen. Uh, see, I don't even think I have to defend that one. I think you guys would agree with that, that Mara Sav is an absolute queen. All right. And then I don't actually know the name of this, but this is the Trials of the Nine Lady. I don't think she has a name. And if she does have a name, let me know in the comments. Um, I couldn't find it. I tried looking it up, and I just couldn't find anything for her name. Um, but I'm going to put her in... This is an interesting one because she does have the same thing as like Eris Morn and, you know, kind of like the Exo Strange, like I was saying, where she like only talks in these really like kind of dramatic like speeches, like everything she says is like an eventful sentence and it's like kind of annoying. But like, I also find her really cool. So I think I'm just going to put her in all right character. Yeah, I, I think she just gets an all right because I feel like she's had enough like like cool voice lines and she's been involved with enough cool content to where she's like an interesting character, but she's not. You know, she's kind of annoying sometimes, but I don't think she deserves to be in the annoying or bad tier. Petra Venge, I will put her in great character. Great Petra is so cool. If you guys remember everything she had to do in the Forsaken campaign, uh, Petra has always been really cool. She was even cool in Destiny 1. Um, yeah, I love Petra. I don't think she's queen material, though, to be honest. I think she's just a really good character, though. And then we have Sagira. Sagira, I will put in all right character. Um, kind of annoying sometimes. But, you know, she's Osiris's ghost. I know she hasn't been around for, or she wasn't around a lot. I know, like, she got killed. When did Osiris's ghost get killed? Wasn't it at the end of uh, the, what was it, Season of the Lost, I think? Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I believe it was at the end of Season of the Lost. She's all right. You know, she's she's fine. Like, her, her story was kind of, it was okay. You know, it wasn't bad. It wasn't great. She's just all right. And then Sloane. I'm going to put Sloane in great character. I love Sloane. I'm... I'm going to get into leaks here for a second. So if you don't want to hear leaks, uh, I would skip to, you know, a couple minutes from now or like 30, 40 seconds from now. I'm getting getting into some leaks. Uh, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I'm getting into leaks. But apparently Sloan is coming back uh, next season. And I'm really excited because I love Sloan in the Red War campaign. I love Sloan so much. She's such a cool character. And I'm really excited to see more of her. So I'm going to put her in great character uh, just because of that anticipation and because I loved her in Red War. So. Tess Everest, she takes my money. She gets bad. She's in a bad tier. I'm sorry. No character development whatsoever. Not that we really need it, um, to be honest, because she's just the Eververse lady, and she takes all of my money, so she gets the bad tier. And then Tyra Karn. I'm going to put Tyra Karn in great character. I love Tyra Karn. I, I wish she would make a comeback. She was the vendor. Um, she was the vendor on, uh, what's it called? In Rise of Iron. Uh the Iron Temple, that's it. Yeah, she was the vendor in the Iron Temple for like Encrypt stuff. She was like the Crypt Arc for that. And then she was also the Crypt Arc, or no, she was the Crypt Arc in the farm, sorry. And then she was also involved in the Rise of Iron DLC. I think she's a really good character. I remember really liking her, and I kind of wish they would bring her back because she's, you know, solid character. But uh, yeah, that just about does it. I know this is like a little shorter of a tier list that I normally make, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, let me know where you think I'm an idiot or where you think I went wrong in the comments. Um, I know some of my picks might be divisive, but this is just my personal list. You know, I get everybody has their own opinions, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what you guys have to say in the comments and make sure to look out for my uh, Destiny 2 uh, dad's tier list. I don't really remember what the name of it was. What is the waifu term for men? I'm not really too sure, uh, but yeah, make sure you guys like and subscribe and uh, yeah, get excited for more tier lists to come out. All right. Goodbye.